Yes, typical haystack move, of course, if you see the back hammer. Doesn't like it. Puts one foot between the bottom two ropes to get the break. Tremendous physique, this Wayne Bridges. Maybe doesn't look so this afternoon quite as much as usual against this colossus that opposes him. the joint at all. Open up, especially then. And back through the ropes again to get the break. Two minutes to go in the first. Of eight. Two falls to the side. Late there with Bridges. That side headlock out there first. He doesn't like treatment on that left arm at all. Wayne Bridges has found it out very quickly. Tries to whip him, but he wouldn't go. And just a hug of a different sort. No official wrestling hold there, but it shows Glenn Bridges having trouble breathing. Just a minute left. I think he's operating a sleeper. He's operating a sleeper, yes. Bridges' arm going limp. The right arm, obviously, at the side of the neck there. And the referee trying to break him, but can't. And Bridges in trouble now. But of course, illegal, so he won't get counted. Especially now. Thirty seconds to go. Bridges is up all right, but uh, not a happy man. Probably wishes he was right now. He was back at his pub in Clapham. Well, about 10 seconds left, and Bridges again has to get back in the ring, but not legal. The move to put in there, so no count. As Bridges goes out again, it's a public one. Public warning to join Haystacks. First, first public warning to Haystacks. In the interval of round one, after round one, and Bridges is still out. It's in the run by the seconds. Seconds out, round two. Now, uh, you'll have to hurry, because the referee will start counting in a minute. He started. Four. Six. Seven. Back at seven. Now then. Can Bridges get back into this and prevent that onslaught of this huge man? This huge man, incidentally, from Salford in Lancashire. Straight into a bear. Bridges can turn now. He could just turn suddenly. Nicely. Oh, punch straight to the stump. Oh, punching coming in out fast. And to the jaw. And a flyer. But it choked him work. Oh, the splash on the legs, though. And it's on that bandaged right knee, I think he was going for. Bridges got up to stop the count, but he's doing the count again now. He'll have to hurry. Seven. 
and straight for that, oh, the left leg is going for the, and a single leg Boston, he must get a submission, surely from this, yes. The first submission to Haystack in one minute, 36 seconds of round two. Your MC, John Harris. Well, ladies and gentlemen, in the second round, the first fall of the match, a submission in favour of Giant Haystacks. Well, he's, he's quite uh, confident now, of course, but his opponent, Wainbridge, is almost falling on that right knee, so it's the left knee that's worrying him. Taking the weight in his right, the bandaged knee there. So I guess I was wrong on that. It's the left knee that's bothering him. A couple of falls outside the ring, or about four, in fact. And then that tremendous splash on it to finish. He'll have to go soon. Second out, round three. Six rounds to go, and Haystack leading by one submission to nil. And going in for the kill now. With one public warning against him, Haystack. Haystack's going for the left leg all the time now, of course. As long as he does it legally, so far he keeps attacking when his man's on the deck. That's all right. That isn't. And that surely must be another public warning. That. And another pub, yes, yeah, probably one. three, ladies and gentlemen, the second and final public warning to Giant Hasek. In the meantime, Bridges really in trouble with that left knee now. Fly out, beautiful. That's great. Then landed well. Put enough balance the second time, very well. Balance again. A beautiful fly, and that will land in the jaw, I think. <clears throat> well, can he get him over? No, uh, he's using the punches there. Flying tackle. He's got him over. Cross press. Inside the ropes, too. So, in one minute, 45 seconds of round three, the equalizing fall with a cross press to Wayne Bridges, and still laying it on. Ladies and gentlemen, round three, and an equalizing fall to Wayne Bridges. Well, Bridges has put the big man in the horizontal position, you don't see, often see him there. Long enough to get the cross press equalizing fall in the third. Second out, round four. Five rounds to go. And Bridges trying to continue the good work now with those double handed backhanders there. Got the fist coming in a little too often now. He was going to get a public warning himself in a minute. Caught him on the top of the head as he went in. Inside of the forearm. Oh, now he's in trouble in the lift from there. Oh, he's lifting. Oh, almost lifted him. Tried to get him over, but that left knee gave way completely under the weight. He had him over. He was trying to make a counter of it, or an escape of it at least, but I'm afraid the knee gave way under the weight of taking the big man on his shoulders, and I rather suspect. And looks, yes, looks like the, the, the ring's gone. Yes, there's a board in the ring that's gone. The referee right under there checking. And the weight of, of 50 stone was just a little bit much. There it is, you can see. The board is given and the referee won't allow it to go on. I hope they got somebody can fix that before the next part if this is not allowed to continue. Let's see what John Harris says. 50 stone, just too much for that well, board. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a board in the ring which is lifted just about here. And 
I'm sure it's something to do with a combined weight, I would imagine. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has decided to stop the contest. Wayne Bridges doesn't like it because he thinks he was getting his own back and coming in well there. Very angry indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, the contest is left open.